If I pass it, I'll sign. It. We'll also take billions of dollars out of the pockets of creators and small businesses. This is not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tick tac toe. A win. Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm seeing a No. The bill is passed. I'll a major step toward a potential ban of TikTok. Prove it. Who, who, who owns that company? Who owns that company? Six, 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 owned yes, by China. Six, six, no, it's not. See, that's a lie. You're defaming the country. You're defaming the company. The only thing all 535 members of fucking Congress can fucking agree on is to ban TikTok. What up chat? Unless you've been living under a rock or something, which if you are, no judgment, you would have seen that a bill in the house just got passed to ban TikTok. If you don't know what TikTok is, it's the most popular social media app ever made. It has millions and millions of creators and billions of videos made by almost everybody. Big time rush, Gordon Ramsay, the president of the United... Joe Biden? Teachers, lawyers, doctors, and Bryce Hall. <laughs> I'm not a boxer. I'm not a fighter. I've never claimed to be a fighter. I am a fighter. And I understand why they want to ban it. I mean, some of the stuff on TikTok is just horrendous content. Showing stuff that might be a national security risk. The animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night. This bill is about protecting the data of Americans so we can then sell the data to China. I mean, in my opinion, the bill's pretty reasonable. All it's asking ByteDance to do is to sell TikTok to a US company or entity. TikTok has over 1.5 billion users and about 150 million of those users are American. So that's like 10% of TikTok. So ByteDance has two options. Either one, with it being the fastest growing social media app ever to keep that upward momentum and lose 10% of its users, or take a lump sum of money to save that 10% and not get any of those future profits. I'm taking an economics class right now, so I know which one I'm taking. It's definitely not like they knew beforehand that ByteDance would think this was a crazy offer and not take it with the conditions they have set out right now. This bill is better for the American people, which leads me to part two. The effects of this ban taking place have been over-exaggerated. It's not like Americans are using this as a way for maybe some passive income or a way to promote their small business. I don't know, maybe like 7 million, a random number, or maybe put 300,000 Americans out of the job. Who knows? Who knows? Even if all those things were true, so preventing their data from being stolen off TikTok, where they'll then move to other social medias where their data won't be stolen. Right? Some people are saying that this bill is just out of fear and that it's trying to control that all the real and valid concerns that people have when arguing about this bill aren't actually in the bill. But some are saying that the bill just doesn't actually address the concerns that are being brought up. It doesn't address corporations spreading misinformation, address the mishandling of user data, address hostile foreign governments influencing American politics, the use of social media, which has consistently been shown to be a major issue on all platforms. If this bill does go into place, who will be held responsible? Is it going to be ByteDance or TikTok? Or is it going to be American app stores? China could demand ByteDance to see all that American data. Lord, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis? Uh, Aurora Borealis! At this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? No. The reason why this is so concerning is because you need a company owned by an adversary government to influence the algorithm slash, you know, social media app. Like, um, I'm trying to think of another example. Oh, Facebook. It's like meta, um, but I think it's like the knockoff. It's 2016, where Russia had that whole disinformation campaign on Facebook that ran wild. Facebook, it's like a totally Russian thing. Nice job, team. This isn't about control over Americans. It's about their safety. This bill will keep Americans more safe. It's not about the government and these companies are frustrated that they don't have full control over 
the most popular app in the world. It's not like we have one of these companies on tape frustrated over the thoughts of Americans that are starting to talk across the aisle or with one another. Wait, we do? Chat, is this real? But I also want to point out that we have a major, major, major generational problem. All the polling I've seen, ADL's polling, ICC's polling, independent polling, suggests this is not a left-right gap, folks. And so we really have a TikTok problem, a Gen Z problem. It'd be insane to suggest that these representatives are being bribed for their vote. Turn around. It's like, here? Turn around? Oh, okay. Right now? Oh. Well, hello, representatives. What's this? To end the video, I'm going to send a letter to my senators to encourage them to say yes to the bill, and then a letter to my representative from the House as a thank you. I think you should do the same thing. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you later. Bye.